Almost 100%. And that's what we're dealing with to provide content for you guys. Okay, so starting, we're gonna hit the center target from about five yards. Uh, move on up over here. We're gonna be hitting the Texas star through the legs of the target. Uh, once the Texas star's been complete, we're gonna come back another about five yards. Timer ends on the last. Timer ends on the last target. Gotcha. We got a little bit of trigger time behind this thing. Talk to me about it. What'd you put on? Uh, we've got the Vortex UH1, Repro Surefire, Repro CQBL, uh, random Zenico foregrip, and then a, a recoil booster muzzle device. Other than that, everything is stock on the ZP19, including internals, motor, all that. Running on a 7.4 LiPo, too. Nothing insane. Good uh, ready? Nice. That was good. How's it going? Very good. Uh, I'm actually pretty surprised with it. I quite like it. Even with a 7.4, huh? 7.4, it's nice and snappy. Obviously, like, not going to be as responsive as some builds. But I've been gaming strictly gas guns for a while now, so you don't really notice the difference. Especially that it's, like, not actually siege legal FPS, so the BBs do travel a little bit faster. It definitely does give it a bit of an advantage. Uh, especially with target shooting. Alright, shoot ready. Ready? Stand by. Very heavy. Is it Siege Staff approved? It is. Snappy trigger. No MOSFET, right? Wow. Bone stock. How do you feel about the ergonomics? Like the stock, the grip? Safety is, um, well, it's an AK, so. True. Besides that, very comfortable grip. Easy reloads. 
thanks to the uh, paddle, just like at MP5. A great competitor and alternative to the MP5. Good point. Yeah. You're gonna start from the pink wall? No, I'm gonna start here, run to the pink wall, <laughs> run back. So for this run, Dylan decided to do the sweaty version. And then he's gonna run, you're gonna run straight to the five yard line? Yeah. <laughs> so that's not so when, I, when my foot hits it, Time yeah, starts. start. Okay. You just really hate calories, right? Of course. Really get I I've only burned 3,859 today, apparently. So I ain't running with you. You're not running with me. No, right. you can see. You can see me. I can see you. See you. All right. Dylan, please explain why the taxi star is so much harder that you can only see the bottom. Uh, well, you, if you start from the bottom, it starts to spin like a motherfucker. If you hit the top, it's nice and gentle because it doesn't move. Exactly. But if you hit the bottom, you get that. And that's not fun. Just for the viewers at home that are like, oh, that's not too hard. Yeah. You try running. I think we measured that. That was 40 yards. Yeah, that was 40 yards. And back. Yeah. Plus another. You want to run it? Yeah. Do it's it. It's actually fun. I like yeah. that. Good. The challenge. When Steve gets back, it's all you, man. <laughs> I am running a stock Coco Marie NGRS MP5 A5 with a uh, real steel hull. All right, boss. Say when to go. Hit it. Restart, restart. He dropped all his loot. This is what happens when I keep this open. Restart. It's, it's Tarkov when you double tap R and you drop a leg. I'm ready. Go.
Wow, it's a human day today. <laughs> <laughs>